actually entering pop up builders and stuff like and you know kind of consulting you with things for people for that yeah yes uh good again want to be cautious even uh, peter trainer you know, you'll have some ups and downs recovering from that core surgery so i want to be cautious i think it's just how he's driven he wants to be out there now he wants to go hard i know i joked yesterday about maybe defining what a practice non-hit jersey uh, looks like but that's just how he's wired so good sign that um a good day yesterday a full practice yesterday and then he repeated again today so that's a good sign going forward He's confident right now. Yeah, I think you guys see that. He's got some jump in this step, if you will. Um, he's shooting the puck. Uh, got rewarded with some offense the other night, which guys that uh, score, I think, helps the rest of their game. I think he's going to reflect the rest of our team, though. Uh, some of those habits. I go the other night on the power play. He's having a really good game, and then he just has a sloppy, careless one-on-one -on -one turnover on the power play in the neutral zone. Um, ruin the whole power play. So just little things like that within his game, a little more complete uh, with this game is what we'll look for uh, from him. What option to ask you, so when he's healthy, is it going to be Alex almost as sort of the full second line center? Two-way center, yeah. Um, even in the recruiting process with him as a free agent, you know, we walked him through where we felt uh, he could slot, and it was in that one-two range. If there's games, maybe we're trying to shut down in the third. Uh, maybe he's getting those extra minutes. Games we're chasing, maybe it's someone else. Um, but I think where we were defensively last year with all those numbers and being towards the bottom of the league and pretty much every defensive category, I think he was the type of signing. Um, we wanted to solidify that. We wanted to improve those areas. Uh, he's Throughout his career, he's been committed to a two-way game. And I just think he'll, you know, draw everyone else into that fight where he's going to be responsible. He's going to be above pucks. He's going to be uh, heavier uh, in the D zone than maybe some of the centers have been in the past here. So uh, we it's we we need him in our lineup for what we're trying to accomplish here with improving our team defense. Elmer, just getting more time tonight. Obviously, it looks Yes. We just want improvement from those guys game to game. Uh, you saw it in Elmer from game one to game two. Uh, you saw it in Simon from game, the red-white game, to his first game. So that's why we want to play them a lot. Um, they get more and more comfortable with the pace of it. Uh, they get more and more comfortable within our structure. They're not as paralyzed, maybe, with some of our structure, the more game time they get. And you just want to keep pushing in the right direction. So far, they're in that upward trajectory. And he still has a habit of, which is for young, is exposing pucks. Um, his big body, use it as I know post practice, uh, him and Tangs were working on some of those habits of, you know, he's still, for a guy that big, he still can be easy to defend because he just has a habit of exposing pucks, exposing his hands. In this level, people are going to kill you. People are going to stick on puck, people are going to go through your hands. So I just, He's a guy that can spend some more time with the puck, but I think pace, everything around him. Uh, I think the more he plays, it starts to slow down around him, uh, which I think is a positive for him. Uh, again, we had a vision of, of seeing him maybe five to six times uh, in the exhibition, and we're well on our way to that. One hundred percent. He's he's got a better stick than I had anticipated. You know, he's probably when I was describing cop on how we're trying to defend better. I think Steve had that signing for that purpose. But I, literally the first practice in camp, uh, we finished practice with a small ice game uh, with three goals, and he had two of them, and they were legit heavy shots, a uh, five-hole finish. Uh, again, we're not going to lean on him or expect offense from him. Uh, but obviously anyone can chip in a secondary scoring is great. But yes, that's what you're seeing is what we're feeling in camp two. His stick you know, is better. His feet are even. His overall skill set is a little better than I had thought uh, with him coming in.
Could be. Yeah, for sure. And you saw it today. Yeah, I mean, I think even the morning skate, uh, anytime it was in his feed, he was it was a one timer, and, and that was the direction from even Alex Tange. Uh, he's got a heavy shot. He's going to shoot it. We're going to simplify him if he gets opportunity time uh, to get pucks to the nut. They they've played well. There is a little chemistry there. Um, they I think one there's a comfort level. Um, I know it's a little thing. Kubali comes in to a new team. There's probably a comfort level. They speak the same language. They're buddies. You can see them walking around the rink, coming in the rink together. I think just a comfort level has been good for them. And then they've had some success. I think they fed off them. Those were two of our better players in game one. Uh, they and they got rewarded with some offense. So. There's something there. I think they like playing with each other. Again, we'll, we'll keep mixing things around, but that has been something that has worked, those two together. Just for you, is it, I think from day off Sunday, it was just to catch up on kind of more of a, what you would consider an NHL lineup, either in one day or Wednesday or four? Not yet. Just, just the reality of the eight games, and then we're going to still four in the last six to finish up. Um, we'll still keep spreading that lineup out. Just, I just think we need to share bodies with so many games. So, uh, I, I even think probably that last weekend when you have Toronto back to back, I don't even know if you'll see a full NHL lineup. Just to, of our need to want to get guys looks and kind of spreading the lineup out, um, trying to be productive with those practices uh, in between the. The, the beauty of our schedule, the, the nice thing about our schedule is we have those four days prior to game one. Uh, so obviously we want good reps, we want hard reps. Uh, we do want to start getting some chemistry within some lines towards the end of camp. But because of the layout and the fact that we have four days, you, you we probably won't show an entire initial lineup until uh, opening night versus Montreal. To a T, to a T. And like anything, it's copycat league. Um, I came into Tampa. We were 28th in the league. Um, Coop tasked me to improve our penalty kill. And I studied San Jose a ton. And we had we went from 28 to 1 that year. And it's a credit to, to Boogs and San Jose and Pete DeBoer and what they were doing there. But s s copying it and translating it, there's little different things to it. You know, he comes in and runs his penalty kill. Uh, there's some different nuances to it that are probably a little more detailed than what even I had thought. But that's what it's going to look like. You can start to see some vision of it. Daz has some success. It's just aggressive. It's fast. Guys are still understanding it. Uh, basically, if we our goal with it is if it does get beat or we have mistakes within it, the mistakes going forward. Uh, teams are going to have to beat us with quick, good plays. You know, we're not going to sit back in it. For 100 percent a ton of ton of video sometimes in those situation you might have um someone you can lean on you know obviously i ran that penalty kill system in tampa and then we were fortunate enough rob zettler ended up taking over for todd richards after our i think our first stanley cup and he came up the year into our second stanley cup and it was it was just good you know we mimicked their four check but then he comes in and has some more exact detail it, it was it was very helpful and i and i think you know, right now, Boogs and I are feeding off us, each other a little bit. And again, with eight games, we're going to get a lot of reps. Uh, there's going to be some guys we're taking looks at that aren't traditional penalty kill guys. I mean, Zadina, Kubalik are perfect examples. But within that, we think they can skate. We think they can anticipate. We're going to have some competition for those six spots on opening night, if you will, on the penalty kill. And, and you can see it. It's a true... Rehearsal as we've used everyone on the penalty kill. No, in the interview process, I mean, that's again, I, I talked earlier in camp. There was many reasons we pursued you know, Bob Bugner aggressively. And um, obviously, the head coaching experience that I can lean on, obviously, him playing in the league, in which I did not play in the league, that's a huge resource uh, for me. But a lot of it was the penalty kill. And obviously where we sat last in the league in the penalty kill, that was important. 
and even in the interview process with him or maybe more of our pursuit of him more than the interview probably he was probably interviewing us more than we were actually interviewing him in the process of course i want to know about the penalty kill and how it would look and um is it going to be what you guys have been of course and and there was there was no gray area in that which which made that easy especially with us pursuing him Yeah, great. Appreciate that a ton. Even Helene last week asking about my family. Yes, um, obviously it's that's a tough, some tough visuals. But uh, obviously, my family living in South Tampa, uh, we missed most of it. Um, family was here with me, so knock on wood, those are scary moments. You know, all is good, uh, at least for the Lone family uh, in Tampa. Great question. Because it's still not going to be. Of course, we want to still win. We want to learn how to win. I asked the guys the other night, being down three two, you know, push. Let's find a way. But without cheating the game, let's push to learn how to win. We 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 will want to win some of these games going forward, trailing in the third. When you know statistically, you don't win many of those games. So there'll be some of that. But it's still going to be about some improved, you know, things we talked about even this morning within our meeting, some improved D-zone habits, some improved tracking habits. It's still going to be implementing those structures, playing fast in those, trying to be detailed. So it's going to be more structure-oriented than what it's going to say on the scoreboard. Hopefully that will take care of itself. Yeah, in the off-season, you talked about the competition, um, breaking a lot of new guys, just how hard it will be to make a roster start spot on how the guys have dictated that. How would you evaluate He's bang on. It's just it's a sheer numbers game now. And obviously, you guys have been around. They didn't have that luxury last year. Then they ran into the injuries. Um, now, we've had some injuries. You know, for, you know, guys have not been available for us. Bertuzzi, obviously, Fab Fabry for a while. Cop, uh, Sunquist. I mean, that's top six. You know, that's half our top nine forward lineup haven't been available for us. So that's taken away from a little bit. It's given other guys opportunities. So, but we do anticipate most of those guys, hopefully for game one. And it's, it's a sheer numbers game. Um, there will not be, if we're healthy, uh, enough spots, which is a team trying to improve on where they're at is where you want to be. <laughs> no, I, 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 I told the guys and in a good way, our very first meeting, if we're going to improve, there's going to be some uncomfort in this. And one, there's going to be some uncomfort in the way we play and trying to hold guys accountable and, and keeping the puck out of our net. But the uncomfort part is is that competition and, and competing for spots.